Hi Pipers, Callan Doyle, back for another little night smoke <clears throat> out on the patio. I uh, I really enjoy smoking out here at night. You, can, I don't know if you can see, probably can't see any much of the patio, but uh, it's just really nice. It stays cool. You can hear the crickets chirping. Uh, it has kind of a out in the woods kind of feel to it. And uh, tonight, smoking my. Um, Savinelli 310, and uh, I really like this pipe. It uh, it has almost a cherry, more yeah, more cherry kind of a red finish than a mahogany finish. But uh, I really like the way it looks. But uh, excellent, excellent smoker. And tonight, smoking a little Orlick Golden Slice. And uh, I don't know if y'all have noticed this, but sometimes I load up a pipe and uh, fire it up and I mean it is just the perfect smoke uh, it, it lights good it stays lit uh, don't have any problem with it uh, doesn't burn hot um, just minimal effort to keep it lit it's just a good smoke from start to finish and then other times I have smokes where I fight with the pipe the whole time you know Either it's too tight or I've got to run down the side of it and open it up a little bit because it's got too packed down in the bottom or it burns to one side or, I mean, it's just, it's just not a good smoke. And uh, I really relish these smokes like I'm having tonight. I mean, this pipe is, it lit up fine and, uh, I mean, everything is just perfect. <clears throat> uh, having a little lemonade with the pipe out here on the patio and the pipe that you're looking at is one I want to talk a little bit about tonight I uh, I've had this pipe probably for a, a year or so and uh, <clears throat> kind of a special pipe <clears throat> uh, don't know if some of y'all can recognize it by the hook on it uh, this is a kind of a trademark of the pipe maker and a nice shank on it, and it's kind of a country, I call it the country poker. But uh, this is a Shadrack original. You know, Shadrack made this pipe for me, oh, I guess, uh, yeah, like I said, maybe a year ago. And uh, it really means a lot to me. Uh, you know, there for a while he was doing a lot of pipe making and a lot of videos on his pipe, uh, pipes that he made. Uh, I'd... I'd Really love to get one of those peach cobblers that he made. I don't know if you saw that video or not, but uh, and some of those peach cobbler pipes just really like the grain and the different color pattern that was on that peach wood. But anyway, this is uh, <clears throat> uh, like I said, a special pipe to me. I haven't smoked it, uh, but I'm gonna smoke it. Uh, I um, I have a place up in Mississippi, and uh, we call it our weekend getaway, and it's about. Oh, I guess it, it's about an hour and 15 minutes from my house where I live here. And I have a little house with 10 acres. And uh, it's kind of surrounded on all sides with trails, and it's got cross trails. And when my <clears throat> daughter was younger, she used to go up, and we had a Kawasaki mule. And I thought she was going to ride the wheels off of it coming around those trails. But uh, got a little outdoor kitchen, a little patio area a little you know a little deck area and I, I just really like it there I mean when you go up the the blood pressure goes down the coffee tastes just a little bit better a lot of times I can sit uh, on the patio and uh, call turkeys and have them call back to me and uh, so but it's just I just enjoy it I, I spent a lot of time in Mississippi when I was young I had a first cousin that was about 20 years older than me and he had a dairy <clears throat> probably about 30 minutes from where my place is now and he had 600 acres and uh, on that 600 acres part of the border of his property was the Amit River so we'd go and and stay up there and <clears throat> and where this Amit River border was it actually the river came actually down and split and formed a island and I guess it must have been three acres four acres on the island and uh, we would it had a crosswalk to it we'd go and camp on the island and swim and catfish there in the Amid River and you know go up and round up cows for milking in the afternoons on a on a Volkswagen 
Beetle without a body on it, just a frame and the seats, and uh, just uh, just was a real good part of, of my growing up. So when I got an opportunity, I bought a, a place in Mississippi, and I, I go to it as much as I can. But anyway, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to take this shad rack of pipe, and I've got a spot picked out already at the back side of my property, real shady spot, kind of down in the sand, and uh, where I see a lot of deer tracks all the time, and I'm going to fire this thing up. Uh, I know shad made this pipe from wood that he liked to walk around the woods of his place and and pick up and have a vision to make a pipe out of it and uh, that's where this thing needs to be smoked so that's what I'm going to do so just was wondering how many other people might have Shadrack of pipes how many people are in the in the, the uh, Shadrack pipe club if you have one you don't make a video about it and kind of tell us a little bit about it and show you show you Shadrack off so coming from the patio on a Friday night, about 10.30. Uh, Calendar all just saying until we see you again, until I make another video. Everybody just keep them lit, keep them smoking.